Welcome to our video on the 1000 CT control system including the ranging system. Front driven and remote control technology is not a new concept to the mining sector. With front driven technology we can see that the operator is always facing the direction of travel. And when the operator wants to change his direction of travel, he needs to get out of the locomotive and climb into the caboose to drive in the opposite direction as our little video shows on the screen. At the top we can see remote control technology where the operator needs to get out of the locomotive or caboose and he can then operate the locomotive from the handset. This will improve his vision of the action point. Action points are things that when he's loading at the boxes, when he's tipping, we can see now the video of the operator at the tip that he moves with the loco and he sees the locomotive moving at the tip. Again, he's got a much better view of the action point. And of course, while he's coupling, the operator can also see the rolling stock and he can couple very, very effectively. The one shortcoming is that there is always blindside driving involved. Blindside driving can be explained as follows. When the operator is operating from the handset in the middle of the train, at the two heads, the front and the back, there is a blindside. When he's operating from the locomotive, the reverse side is always a blindside of the locomotive. ANR introduce ranging. Using time of flight and UHF technology, we can accurately determine the distance and position of a vehicle or a pedestrian tag. This is an example of how we can do it. The extra components that must be installed on the locomotive is four ranging antenna, a pedestrian tag that is usually installed in the cap lamp, and then a handset that utilizes time of flight technology. The ranging unit can accurately create zones around the loco. First, it can create a critical zone where it is unsafe and too close to the loco to operate. Here we can see a safe zone where it is safe to operate the loco and then an out of range zone where it is too far away from the loco to be operated. The operator must always be in the safe zone to operate the loco. And this means that we can basically force the operator to always be in an area where we want him to be. Ranging then also covers us on the blind spots where it will always keep an eye out for pedestrian tags and other vehicles fitted with the 1000 CT ranging system. Now we're going to have a look at the 1000 CT system in action where we first see the operator is moving from the critical zone to the safe zone where he can start operating the loco. There the loco start, the handset stops flashing and the operator can now signal the loco and once he's signaled he can start moving the loco towards himself. We can see that this loco starts moving but when it enters the critical zone, the loco stops and it can't move any further. Again, the operator will move the loco towards himself and we will see when it enters the critical zone, the loco will stop. Here the loco is moving. Once it gets into the critical zone, about 6 meters, in this case, the loco stops. Now the operator will try to operate the loco from the handset within the loco. 
there we can see that the handset is completely disabled and the operator is not able to give any instructions to the loco. With ranging installed you get very effective proximity control and warning. When two locos approach each other they will for instance not be able to pass each other and the locos will be in the critical zone and will have to stop. If the two locos need to pass each other the operator will still first need to acknowledge the proximity event before the locos can move further and pass each other. If there is two locos moving in the same direction, the loco behind will need to move slower and keep a safe following distance before it can move at a normal operating speed. Thank you very much for watching our video.